Hi everyone and welcome back. This is the long overdue Raphael Gundam painting video. In the last video I have snapped and assembled the kit. And the next step is preparing it for painting. This involves washing the parts to get rid of the mold release. It is basically a layer of grease that is used in the casting process. And that grease is what you are painting on if you don't wash the parts and thus the paint won't stick to the parts. Next is some minor rescribing and sanding. I didn't record a lot of the painting process as I've done it in depth so many times before, so you're welcome to watch some of the older videos for that. But I just wanted to talk about the information of this suit because I found it really interesting. To those who don't know about this suit, this is piloted by Tieria in the Gundam 00 movie and you might wonder why it looks so different to the other Gundams in the team. And that is because it's basically a recycled Gundam. The main suit uses Gadessa from the uh, Season 2 and the backpack uses Sarah V Gundam also from Season 2. And yes, the gimmick of Tieria's suits is there's a hidden Gundam within the suits. His first suit Gundam Virtue is just a set of heavy armor covering the Gundam Nadele inside. His next suit, the Seraph E Gundam, uh, the pilot can move into the backpack and it turns into the Seraph M Gundam. The Raphael Gundam is quite similar to Seraph E Gundam, but the difference is the pilot doesn't go into the other Gundam, rather it acts as a drone. So basically we see it in the movie that it, sort of the backpack detaches itself from the main Gundam and Tieria was able to pilot both at the same time. And the previous two suits, the hidden Gundam is a slimmer one, whereas for the Raphael is the opposite, so the hidden Gundam is actually thicker. And on top of that, the Raphael Gundam is one of the two, if not the only one Gundam mobile suits to have three GN drives. The other one being Gundam Harut, maybe. They didn't really show where the GN drives go clearly in the movie, so it was quite confusing. So obviously there are two GN drives in the backpack, and technically there's one within the body of the main suit. But like, I don't see where that GN drive could be. Like, anyway, in terms of working this kit, it was generally quite enjoyable. There weren't really any parts that were too difficult to mask. The bit that required more attention was the insides of the backpack. I had to make sure to paint all the insides so that there's no unpainted area shown when transformed. I also wanted the whites to have a slight tint of purple, like uh, it does in the movie. Thus I added a tiny amount of MS purple into the white and I think it worked very well. Initially, it was quite hard to show that on camera as the camera would think it is a white balance issue and adjusts automatically. And so do your eyes too actually as you know our brains will adjust and ignore slight changes in tones we see, say like a sunset for example. What I did to combat that was having the GM drives and the action base pure white so that there's actual pure white on screen to show contrast to the purple tinted white. And what do I think about the kits now? I rate it pretty positively. Uh, the casting is really good and the accessories such as the LEDs and water slides work really well and the foil stickers are a nice touch as well. But the price for this kit has really inflated now and on top of that the most annoying thing is every moving part is loose in this kit and having to thicken the joints make it a bit difficult to recommend this kit. So I can only recommend this kit if you are a fan of the 00 series or the movie itself. Anyway, I hope you've liked the video so far. Please enjoy the review and like and comment on your way out. I'll see you in the next one.
は未だ愚かで戦いを好み世界を破滅に導こうとしているだが私はまだ人類を信じ世界は。変わらなければならないのだから。